Good afternoon and welcome to Fernhill School. This is all a bit of an unusual experience for me because ordinarily I'd be speaking to a packed hall full of people. This year that's not possible, but this hopefully is the next best thing. What I'd like to do this afternoon is to speak to you about some of those unique selling points of the school and tee up a whole range of opportunities for you to find out all the detail you need from our website, from videos and from some live opportunities coming soon in the next week. This is an unusual year, but there is still lots on offer. What I would like to do is to introduce you to the school and then I would like you to explore the things on the board in front of me. First of all, you will be the first set of parents to get the first look at our brand new introductory video to the school. Professionally made, which I think shows the school off in its best light and with its full personality. This is available through our website, as are all of these things. Also on the website is a link to our prospectus, which is full colour and gives an overview and a flavour of the activity that goes on at Fern Hill. There's then a student-friendly tour with Mr Hurd, something of a legend of Fernhill School. He's been here a long time and he is fond of telling me that many of the mums and aunts and sisters he's taught himself. His tour is a student-friendly one and it really does get into the depths of the school and I would commend that to you and to your child. What we are doing on the 22nd of October is a virtual question and answer session. If you go onto the website, under the Admissions and the Year 6 Transition tab, there are details of how to book, and the same thing will be coming out to you in junior school. That will be via some kind of web platform, you will be informed, and there will be the opportunity to ask questions to members of the school senior leadership team in a small group. There are other presentations on the website, a junior school presentation which I do, which has music in the background, which is a lovely opportunity for students to see the wide range of things we do and the extracurricular activities. I'm accompanied on that occasion by prefects, many of whom some of your young people will recognise as ex-students of the junior schools locally. There's also a very detailed, and I warn you quite long, year six presentation. That's more for the summer. But if there are any of you who really, really, really want to put all your young person's anxieties at ease and know everything from the type of stationery they need to bring to the different entrances to the school, what's on offer to the canteen, the canteen, I would commend that to you as well. And finally, and this is really important, during the last summer term, with last year's year six, the current year seven, we became very aware of the fact that people had very, very individual questions about their child. The sort of thing you might not ask on an open evening if it was to go ahead, or at a group virtual Q&A. Please do use that web address there, that email address, transition at fernhill.hans.sch.uk to ask those specific questions that pertain to your individual child. Perhaps they're particularly able and talented. Perhaps they need particular support with their learning or behaviour. If you email that address, we'll make sure your query gets to the right person and they'll come back to you. And if you'd like to speak to them in person over the phone, include your phone number and we'll do that for you. Over the course of the next 15 or 20 minutes, I just want to give you a flavour of what makes Fernhill unique. As of course, many things about schools are just the same. But I think it's really important that you get to know what I call the DNA of the school and start to understand its personality. Of course, what we do at Fernhill is we work hard. We are a very small school where every child can be treated as an individual. And I think for me that's the biggest selling point of Fernhill. We're not a large, sprawling school with thousands of students, and therefore, even as the head teacher, after the first half of year seven, I know quite a lot of the names already and that gives me great joy. It means if you need to phone up, if you need to speak about your child, they'll be known as an individual rather than a name or a number. And that's perhaps the biggest selling point for the school. Particularly if your child is one who might be a little bit anxious about moving, who might not like massive crowds, and who might want a, an easier transition to secondary school. We have excellent SEN and inclusion provision. Whether your child has an academic learning need, or whether there are things outside of school that they find challenging, 
perhaps you as a family need support with. We are well known for our wraparound care and the fact that we're a small school just makes that all the more positive. We have very strong relationships with parents and I operate a true open door policy with meaningful consultation. You'll see on our video, my mantra is, I cannot always promise to agree with people because at the end of the day, that's not what people want, a yes man. But no one will ever go away from Fernhill without having felt that their views were genuinely and truly listened to. I do enjoy those relationships with parents and they make the school what it is. We are fully staffed with specialists in all areas, which is no mean feat because of the national recruitment issues, which are particularly difficult locally. We have English teachers, mathematicians, scientists, artists, linguists. We're very fortunate. So we offer excellent teaching to all of our young people. We offer a very rich curriculum, which is also enviable for such a small school. So of course we offer the academic core, maths, English, science, French, Spanish, history, geography, but we also offer a full and rich arts and creative curriculum across the whole of the five years. Music, drama, art, performing arts, photography. When they get to year 10 and 11, students even get to choose one or two of those extra, very well thought out and chosen vocational options. And our flagship course, of course, here at Fernhill, which we're well known for, and you can see it on the video, is our vehicle technology course, taught in our very own garage by our very own Mr Finch. And many of those children go on to study that at college. We have a very carefully constructed, a very popular and respected senior leadership team. And I think it's also important that you know that we all teach still. So I don't sit, God forbid, in my ivory tower dictating orders. I am still a teacher of French. I am a teacher of drama. And I've turned my hand to science, child development, you name it. I believe that in order to truly lead the school well, my leaders at senior and middle leadership level need to do teaching and they need to do it well so that we have the kudos and gravitas to talk to you as parents and to our colleagues about how to make things the best they can actually be. We also have exceptional FE progression rates. And what I mean by that is actually school for some children is quite straightforward. They take it in their stride academically and socially. They do brilliantly well. For some children, secondary school is a real challenge. Again, it could be, it could be an inclusion or a social issue, or it could be that they need significant support with their academic learning. What I would say to you is that with close liaison with apprenticeship providers, with FCOP, with farm receipt form, we make sure every child goes on to a meaningful progression route where they can achieve that well-being, that financial well-being, the emotional well-being they want. In recent years, academic achievement at Fernhill has gone up significantly and last year was no exception. And this is a picture of Formal Day, which is an event we held. Uh, this is the previous year, obviously because of the lockdown. This is an event we hold in June or July every year to celebrate the success of our year 11s and they spend lots of money on formal wear and they come into school to celebrate their success. Academic achievement is strong at Fernhill and improving further. It wouldn't be a school actually if we didn't play hard as well and I'm a firm believer both as an individual and as a head teacher that your school days should be the best of your life. And they should not just teach you the academic skills and get you the qualifications you require to be successful, but they should also be fantastic fun as well, actually. We have wonderful performing arts opportunities. Children of any ability, of any age, of any year group can take part in drama productions, be that classical productions like Shakespeare, modern things like pantomimes, comedy, latest one we did with School of Rock, that opportunity is there for everybody. We also do summer concerts, Christmas concerts, amazing things which children can participate in and we encourage parents to come and watch. 
We've worked incredibly hard to expand our sports offer as well. And again now, I would say this is one of our unique selling points. And on the video, you can see the facilities. We have five football pitches marked out on our field, and they are booked out every evening and every weekend, with hundreds of young people, boys and girls, enjoying their football. We have a fully functioning fitness suite, which the children can use, a massive gym, an enviable sports hall. This really is a school where sporting excellence and participation is valued in, in its highest order. So whatever your child's interest, uh, we can get them active for you. We also love to do school visits and trips, both within the curriculum and beyond. So whether that's a geography field trip, a trip to Porchester Castle for history, or perhaps a visit to France to trail a student around a French high school and visit a French market, we can offer that. We also do local visits to local areas, and that programme is enjoyed by all of our students. As I said earlier, we have strong careers and vocational provision. And for the first time in a long time, in the summer of 2021, we'll be offering fully funded, free of charge work experience to all of our students in year 10. And I can't wait to get that up and running. We focus on the celebration of success as well, and not just sanctions. I worry that as a nation, we are very, very negative where it's necessary, and we don't quite take the time sometimes to say well done and to celebrate success. And through awards evening, through special head teacher postcards, special lunches, letters home, house points, we do try to make sure that children are appreciated for the work they do. We're also a school that hasn't forgotten how to enjoy itself. And at Christmas, we make everybody Christmas dinner, we sing traditional Christmas carols, we sing songs, we dress up in Christmas jumpers, and I might even rock out, if you're lucky this year, my spectacular Christmas suit. We then have an assembly at Christmas where we do a whole school karaoke, and in the summer term as well, we have our amazing sports day, which parents can attend, end of term assemblies and events, including the formal day and the prom you've seen as well. Students have a voice at Fernhill, and I ask their opinion. When you do get the chance to look at our video or have a physical tour of the school, you will see our new fitness suite. The fitness suite was built as a result of requests from students. We designed it together and we talked about the cost and the fact that children would need to keep it nice in order to get the money in to pay for it. So there is genuine democracy here and I really value the opinions of students and parents. I would encourage you as well to keep up over the next few weeks and months with what's going on at Fernhill. We have a Facebook page on which you can find all our latest news, including links to my weekly blog and letters and to our corporate video. If you haven't looked at our website recently, or you have seen it recently, you may have noticed or will notice that it's changed to something much warmer, something which reflects the personality of the school much more. Please do look at it. And under the top, where it says more, you'll find the transition information. Our care for your child and our pastoral care is second to none. It is incredibly important that you are sending them to school to us knowing they feel safe because they are more most treasured possession. I have a clear vision based around value and choice. School is not just somewhere that children come because the law says they have to. They should come every day and value the opportunities that we can provide. And in order for them to do that, we have to make sure that what we provide is of the highest quality. And that we do. We also value choice at Fernhill. Children have a choice of subjects. They have a choice of what to eat. They have a choice of what sports to do and a choice of what trips to do. But they also have a choice of how to behave as well. And those students who choose to behave well are rewarded. And those students who choose to behave poorly, that isn't tolerated because I know that your child needs to learn. And I need to be very clear and firm about that. We have high expectations of behaviour and the choices that children make. And we encourage and support them to make the right ones. We have more pastoral support staff now than ever before. Every year group has a head of year. 
But they also have an assistant head of year, a student support worker, who's on hand for those little things that you ring up about when you call concern about as parents. How do I upload dinner money? What do I do if my child's forgotten their trainers? What do I do if I need a day off for a medical appointment? So whenever you need to get through, you'll be able to. Our family support worker, Rachel Bennett, is well known. She offers classes and support for families that need it. It might be about how to parent children that are particularly anxious. It might be to put you in touch with people locally that can support. But she has an encyclopedic knowledge of what goes on in Farnborough, and she is also there and available 52 weeks a year, actually. We have a uniform hub. Not for us is it the case that if your child turns up in incorrect uniform, we send them home out onto the street to get changed before we permit them in. We have our very own mini branch with Brendan's, with brand new shoes, jumpers, ties, sweatshirts. So we will make sure, as far as possible, that when your child comes to school, that we look after them and don't need to bother you at work if they've forgotten an item of uniform. This year we have increased security around the site. And I raise this because in the past, when I first started here two years ago, parents said to me, Mr Kingswood, I'm just a bit concerned that your site's very open. And after lots and lots of persuasion and lots and lots of discussion with the local authority, we now have proper gates and a proper fence which can only be accessed with permission from a member of staff. And I throw that in there, not because we particularly need it, but because it's something I'm always asked by prospective parents. And again, we've listened and sorted that out. I have high expectations and we have strong sanctions if children won't, pay, won't behave well. Because I know, as a parent myself, I want my child to go to school and learn. We have low rates of exclusions because we tend to deal with stuff within the school. Because, of course, what we also have a responsibility to do if children are not behaving well is to show them the right way. There is extracurricular support for well-being as well, which comes from Mrs Bennett. We have people coming from Roadhill School. We have counsellors coming to school and we work very hard to make sure that children's mental health is secure. Our wider visits and cultural programme supports that and there are great leadership opportunities at school as well even more so this year with the expansion of our prefect and leadership system. So, what happens next? Well, I would ask you to return to the start of this presentation, look again, and have a look at our website. You go to the Joining Us tab at the top and the Year 6 Transition se uh, section, and that's where all of those things, including the welcome video, all the presentations, and the links to book the Q&A online uh, next Thursday, and also the email link is there as well. The application deadline is the 31st of October 2020. We had 50 more children last year in Year 7, or this September, join us than in September 2019. So the school is increasing in popularity, so I would encourage you, if Fernand is your school of choice, to put us down as first choice by the 31st of October. As soon as it is safe to do so, we will be conducting face-to-face -face visits and tours because there is nothing better than looking around the school. And of course, I know some of you will have come around in year five. But as soon as it is safe to do so, we will invite you onto the site for a safe, socially distanced look around. Once we get to the summer term, and hopefully things are back to normal, we have a full transition programme for those students joining us in year seven. That might be some cooking, it might be some art, it might be some woodwork or metalwork. But we invite students onto the site and I go out and I visit them in uh, junior school as well. Even though things are not normal at the moment, we hope they might be. But if they're not, we also this year put on small group summer holiday sessions with socially distanced tours for children, including showing them this year how the school was set up. Uh, to cope with the pandemic. So even if we can't get back to normal, and let's all hope, I'm sure we do, that we will, uh, we also made contingency for that last year. So it is not the case that just because this bit of the transition experience has to be distanced and remote, not the case that the rest of it will be as well, provided we can do that safely. I always like to finish with this one. 
I'll level with you. I really want your child to come to Fern Hill. But if they don't, I only ask one thing of you, which is that you don't make the choice until you've found out everything that there is to know about Fern Hill and all the other secondary schools. Because this is a really difficult and really important choice. I always finish by asking you this question to help with that process. Are you and Fern Hill a perfect match? These are the expectations of our students. I expect them to be enthusiastic, resilient, opinionated in the right way, great fun and very happy. I expect parents to be honest with me, really honest. I expect you to be supportive of the school and I expect you to demand the best from us because that's how we improve. And I expect our staff to be dedicated, proud and passionate about the subject that they teach and the success of our young people. Because that's what makes Fernhill the school it is. It's been an absolute pleasure to spend this time, albeit virtually, talking to you. And I warmly welcome you and invite you to those virtual events, to use that email address through the website, and I look forward to those of you who I haven't met before, I look forward to meeting you very soon. Thank you very much.